team in 2024 preseason favorites when you look at the landscape who's going to be there to win a national championship for the first team defense it's the second team offense to start in this second half Gunnar Stockton Chauncey Bowens we've got Aaron Murray making his way down to the field where he is going to stand next to Kirby Smart and get an inside look and so they've been playing between the hedges since 1929. Well, new hedges put it, got new hedges installed here in Athens. Kirby Smart was a sophomore playing for Georgia. And they ruled out a sack. Just Kirby Smart was a sophomore playing for the dogs. <laughs> they saw a lot of ball, you know? Oh, yeah. Some of the best ball. And now Smart, their perspective hasn't shifted regardless of the level of success they reach. To the return man, so in the spirit of the spring football game, it's still the first team offense that will take over. And hand off here to ETN, bottled up. All right, coach, thoughts from the first half. Beck throwing here on a third and nine, another deflected ball at the line of scrimmage. You just heard Kirby Smart. has looked good this entire spring game here this afternoon. Yeah, that was Michael Williams again getting a paw on it. He tipped one to himself earlier. We had Colin Drake, walk on junior from Ennis, Texas, south of Dallas. It's interesting that first team offensive line, which was touted as one of the best in the nation. He came in and told us, hey, that unit has not won anything yet. They need to continue to stay hungry and humble. So, that a lot of work to be done, but we talk about the competition. That's why Kirk's season here this afternoon. Now, think about that when you consider the schedule Georgia has as Drake unloads a deep ball, had it on the fingertips of Texas at Ole Miss, and yet, you're right, this could be the best defense. Be the best units that you're going against this entire season, and Kirby knows that. Iron sharpens iron. And he feels like he gets it every single day in practice, so why not have that here for the fans? Clemson, what a battle that will be. Now, those are two teams that have combined for four of the last. And here's Gunnar Stockton getting his first action with the first team offense. And how about Roderick Robinson laying the line, being up close, seeing that? I don't want to tackle him, that's for sure. Seeing him live on the field, I was right behind that play and seeing it right now. Obviously, in a spring game, you're not trying to take him with his legs out, but DB's got to go a little bit lower on the big guy. I tell you what, though, too, after, you know, we, we highlighted that earlier on the game, just what he's doing this season, moving more to that outside linebacker. Puts his hand in the dirt to try and stop the run here. You know, they're going to mix and match him, like you said, Aaron. Sometimes like that is... Start the game. Thoughts on 14 so far? He's had a really good spring, man. He's, he understands the offense better. Playing with confidence. Good throw there to the back. Good job. I mean, he's been really good. At first, he's, he started... Nice hole for the offensive line. Andrew Paul runs right through it. Uh, Stockton goes right back to Paul, swallowed up immediately. For spring foot. Yeah, there's number and th and I'm your defense and continues and to company score. coming up. They are the story so far. We have a dog in the offseason. And Gunnar Stockton, the backup quarterback, working with the like first team on the receiving the first end. time, showing off the arm strength. But there's too much on that ball, a third and long. A lot of, if you had a point to maybe one thing for quarterbacks, just not a no. lot of experience yeah, I'll take <laughs> behind Torch and Beck. You have won the premier. Oh, and she's uh, gone through four Pretty much surgeries it early well, actually, in her life. And, actually, you know, mentioned uh, to Kirby. Sideline, we'll see if he has Liz Taylor. The thanks, Adam, defense our producer, for uh, the bullets in the, me. In this defense, man. And, and there's something to be said. I'm Sports sure in the gun to be able to get them. They on the outside, this be able to rush the pass. He just ran with the ones, and now he's back running with the twos. Busy day for the backup quarterback. And yeah, there's going to be a lot of good film to go back to Gunner. 
have to have he good. He was part of a, a two-way battle last year, and Brock ended up being more that number two guy. And you know, I Wrap was just. This defense just swarming to the football. This is maybe a little bit more passion. And when you get two elite units, the team that the one that brings the most energy is going to be the one that goes. And first catch of Arian Smith right there. That's a guy that thinks get in at quarterback. That's a good. And he's motivated. Good instincts. Still playing good instinct. here in the fourth quarter. You, you look at other spring games across the country. He said this preseason, he's also handled it completely uh, differently, even down to his lifestyle. He's he the said, first I don't want to be someone who's rattled in pressure. If this team running wins, backs I'm going to have run a with their own. A ton of question marks around Brother, the quarterback sorry about position. Yeah, Kirby Smart said, is by the way, way, this is his team. Is now in it. And the first real pressure situation that Coach Smart alluded to Auburn. was that Auburn game. He said in spring is when he started showing his moxie, his pocket. After that is really when he took off and he hasn't looked back since. You're count. Uh, you got it. you it's competitor. just, it's interesting. Uh, Aaron Murray has rejoined us in the booth after he'll, getting he'll. down on the field up close plenty, depending on what the you notice wide receiver spot there that maybe a team that walks off the bus and you turn your head like oh my goodness these look, this looks like an nfl team a quick hitter to ra ra thomas at wide receiver so many weapons at the you put the ball in certain positions to give those guys the opportunity to make a catch that obviously makes everyone look good but i also think there's a trust factor too now and you saw that last year i would say after the auburn game you know, when he ball at the line of scrimmage, ahead of this third and three. ETN couldn't quite turn that corner. Yeah, hey, in our system, it's a quarterback system. We have a high volume of. You have him learn from Monk, and that way, the you know, you understand. Hey, I got Carson Beck ready to take over. Let's not change the system up on him. Bobo was able to take over, play fast. And another deflected ball. Oh, I want to play. Yeah, I want to get me in there. Go. I think all these defensive guys in the front seven, I spot. Lawson Lucky shoved out of bounds. CJ. And they can hold up and dominate and let you play a little bit more too high. Beck taking a shot to the end zone. Couldn't quite connect with Colby. Got to be able to. They'll start to. You won't see as many guys. It looks like this kid is going to be able to come in there and, and play really well, especially in situations. You can get two out of this set pretty quick. So the ball is 31st. You do not want to miss it. Georgia and in the corner. Clemson. Excellent. Turn. You turn when he turns. Still. That's London Humphreys. So again, the depth. Lucky in. Yeah, you look at the depth chart right now. You're like, man, I got to get through this guy and that guy and that guy. So there's now 18 different players have caught a ball in this game. And Georgia hit the portal like every team's red zone situations, and then Humphreys will continue working to that slot position as well. Plenty of room to run here inside the 10, tiptoeing down the to the end zone for the first time in a bulldog uniform. The pride of mid year toggle and then getting in the end zone. Cast booth, but I'm just so impressed that Beck and Stockton have stayed in this entire game outside of one drop. Will be one of the best offensive lines in the country, and to see that defensive line hold up and almost dominate this game. It, there is youth on the back end, and and I, I talked about this. I believe in the. Beck buying himself time, floating incomplete. Oh man, I, I know it's been very tough for Georgia fans to get everything booked up to go to Austin. I think partly due for the fact that they have the F1 race there. But I know Georgia fans. Your Masters ticket for tomorrow. Right? I am. I am. Trying to still coach Bobos. Yeah, Brett Thorson, who is the charismatic goofy in there, got a little bit more time on their hands. Who was that for, for your team when you were at Georgia? Who was the funny guy? Keep it light in the locker room. Third and 12 here for Stockton. 
they blow that play dead for a sack before Stockton could get rid of it. Always the thing that hurts you is, is the injury bug a little bit. And then they were banged up from start to finish and some key guys. And, you know, as of right now, they feel like they are. This is something they do every single day in practice, some sort of situation for Carson to work on his two minute drives. You know this defense wants to keep this lead, have some bragging rights all summer long going into the fall. ETN out of the backfield. We've seen some flashes from. Back again, pressure bearing down, had to get rid of it, dropped by Arian Smith. Okay. To go, so you could, but now let's put some more pressure on, on Team Red and Carson. Dogs defense sends pressure tipped, and the defense delivers again. Malachi Starks, who didn't even play today, another veteran on that Dogs defense celebrating with the first team D. Well, this is a defense that's going to contend for one of the better ones in the country this year. And I thought you saw finding the check down accurate, executing some of the downfield cut. Stockton throws to the end zone a little too high. Over the head of 24, according to ESPN. Stockton denied a touchdown. That's a terrific play. Absolutely will be one of the preseason favorites to win the national champions. No, oh, we get one more opportunity. Another two-minute drive for Carson Beck with a few timeouts. Only down a touch. Times on this final drive. Three timeouts, 50 seconds to work with for Beck. Couple of broken tackles, just shy of the six in red. Love it. Oh, and, and, and especially him playing in the slot, I think Carson feels very comfortable working over the middle of the field. Not all able to get north and south afterwards. 93 yards for Love it. Back clean pocket. Right on the money. Carson Beck for, for number 15. Beck in the red zone takes a shot. Swatted incomplete. Good protection there, Alabama. Beck floats to the end zone. Love it, into the hedges. Spring game, a touchdown to tie it with less than 30 seconds to go. Statement wow. game here. Into the brand new baby hedges. Goes number eight, and someone has to eat the steak. This one looks like it's going to be tied in the spring game. What a day for Dom Lovett. And no doubt that was the, the best play of the game on Eaton. That's another first down. Michael Jackson again. Most teams across the country, the starters come out at halftime or midway through the third quarter. Stockton under pressure has to throw it away. Another incomplete pass thrown by Stockton there. The defense distance, instead of fourth and one, it's third and 10 for Stockton. And he put it right there. Great. Peyton Woodring's the starter, but Team Black has the backup. Badger from 54 had the distance, but nowhere near happy with how this spring game went. Just competitive, hard hits. Great plays cab right at the end of regulation. And Taylor Davis is down with Kirby Smart. Thank